how to inspect the quality of LED lights. I am going to share you a report we made five years ago. But don't worry, five years, maybe it's too long? No, because compared with 2020, now it's 25, the quality inspection standard is the same. The UL standard for North America is the same. The IEC standard for the international, for the Europe is the same, almost no change. And for the LED lights, we always focus on the spectral parameters, CCT, RI, SDCM, the optical data are all the same, so don't worry. But anyway, our report, our reports, procedures, quality inspection procedures changed. We have more attempts now. But anyway, I share with you 2020 report. It's very good for you to understand how to ensure the quality for LED lights. Here is a sample. We did the inspection in 2020 on behalf of a foreign customer who bought 2,300 pieces of LED downlights from a manufacturer nearby Shenzhen. Here is the process. We do the inspection before shipment. The time is July 1st, 2020, and we released the report in the same day. The supplier's, factory, the supplier's name, the factory's name. Sometimes, uh, most of the case, in most of the case, the supplier are the same as the factory. But sometimes the supplier is a trader. Sometimes the supplier has some branch companies. The factory is different from the supplier name. Click here, we go to the second page. Here is the result for all the inspection processes. Green means pass. So if you see in this page, all green, that's good. Yellow means you have to pay attention to them, maybe risk or maybe something need you uh, double check. Red means we are sure it's fair. Okay, let's go through this process one by one. Next page is the catalog, it's the content. So you can click to the page you like very quickly. Here is the quantity. Uh, it's the first step when we arrive at the factory. We check the product quantity for different models. So for this shipment, the customer's order for this model is 1500, for this model is 800. We check the quantity and find all finished, only 0% under production. That means 100% finished production. Here is the aging test of our inspection process. We select 220 pieces samples and ask the, the supplier to connect them with the electricity. And we will check if all these samples can be turned on. If all the samples, the flicking or no flicking, the color are consistent or not. And if they have some dark point. So here, we give a pass because we found all these are good. The color is also consistency. This part is the workmanship and the BOM checking. We can see we give a risk comment conclusion. Why? Here we show the reason thermal grease not uniformly. We select four pieces samples and found here you can see these gray areas are thermal grids. Thermal grids are the material between the LED, the PCBA, and the housing. So the heat can be transferred from the LED to the housing quickly to protect the LED. 
But we can see here, the thermal grids is not uniform. This area is no thermal grids. So that's not good. We mark it yellow here, yellow here to remind our customers. But sometimes the customer can accept it. Maybe they think it's not a big problem. So we don't, we, so we didn't give a fear. We highlight it with risk to the customer. Customer can make a decision. Here is the brand model of the LED driver because LED driver is a very important component for LED lights. So customer can check, is it they want? And inside the component information, component picture. Here is the part of appearance checking. We also say it's risk. We select a hundred pieces and we found, you can see this model, the back side, we found, make it bigger, many points. The sample is 15 pieces, but problems 45 pieces. It's really big. And here, sample 15 pieces, two pieces have this kind of issues. And here, scratch, 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 scratch. There's something like glue, glue, scratch. So we record all these issues, appearance issues we found, the sample quantities, the problem quantities, the customers can make a decision, accept or reject. Here is the spectrum testing. As I said, 2020, we do the spectrum testing for the LED light. Now it's 25, we also do the spectrum testing for the light. I think even after 10 years, we still do the spectrum testing for the light. Because the CCT color temperature, the CRI, the SDCM power, power factor, the requirements always there, even after hundreds of years, because we checked all this test result with customer's specification and all this data within the tolerance, we give a pass in this part. Here, this page is the spectrum testing report. Yeah, we insert it here in our report. So sometimes customers want to see more detailed data, they can check it. Here's the IES testing. Because for the LED downlight, in many cases, customer want to know its beam angle, want to know its accurate uh, lumen efficiency and its light distribution. In that case, a spectrum testing is not enough. We have to do the testing in a dark room by going photometer. So here we do it and we found the result. We mark this important data so customers can see it easily. The lumen efficiency, the total lumen. And you can get the beam angle here. Okay, this is the other part. Now we are going to the electric safety testing part, high pot testing. We select five piece samples and we found two pieces fail because safety is always top priority. We give fail here. Here is the testing picture and the testing setting according to the IEC standard. So these are important setting. We put it here. So sometimes maybe customer or the supplier need to check. This part show our inspection of our customer's logo printing and the label. 
I hide the labels because I have to protect the customer's information. And because the customer, they didn't give me the design of the label before our inspection, I just record this information in the report. So we just take the pictures here and the market is waiting for customer's confirmation. So customer can see this page and check if it's okay or not. This part, we record the weight and the dimension information for the product. Normally the weight is not very important, but we take it as a common process. We record all this weight information. And for the dimension for that night is important. What the cut hole size, what the product height, we all record, record it here. This part shows the artwork inspection. The same as the label, logo uh, part. The customer didn't give us the artwork design before the inspection. So we just take pictures of the art cartoon, of the color box, and uh, put these pictures here, but waiting for customer's confirmation. If you ask me to do the quantity inspection for you before the shipment, and if you give me your artwork design, we can check, we can compare your design with the actual printing in the factory and um, make some conclusion. Okay, that's the introduction of our quality inspection process for AOD Downlight five years ago. Now it's 2025. Our quality inspection process include more items and more professional. Are you interested in knowing more? See you in the future videos.